Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, who's puppy? We hear a puppy. One of mine. Um. Now let's see. At least three of us have dogs anymore. I have a dog. You have a dog. Autumn has a dog. Aaron, you have a dog. <laughs> Everybody else is a cat person. No cats, birds, gerbils. My mother was fond of parakeets. Hey, Dan. Hey, how are you? Okay. Not looking forward to the weather this weekend. How's oh, it uh, warming up? Uh, well, it said 106. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well move back to the Central Valley. <laughs> it's a dry heat, though, right? <laughs> Well, it is. Depends on how much you sweat. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I really don't like it humid. So I just sort of curl up and die, you know, in the yeah, Midwest. Humid, humid's better States. for your, it's better for your skin. <laughs> Not for the hair though. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm past the point where it can actually help me down. <laughs> It does wonders for my curls, though. I like it. No. <laughs> well, I'm not sure of curls either. <laughs> Gracie, you can uh, mute yourself and turn off your camera till your item's up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank I'm you. just getting all set up. <laughs> That's not me, but it is my name. <laughs> That's my husband, John's picture. I am waiting on the interpreters to sign on. So if we could give them a couple of minutes.
Katie, if, if that's actually you, you can please turn off your camera and mute yourself until the item is up. If you can hear me. There's lots of Katie Lazars on this. yourself now if you can turn off your camera. It'll be copacetic. Give me one moment here, Chair Ponce. Any luck, Zinnia? Um, good evening, Chair Pont. Um, so unfortunately, it does not look like we will be having um, interpreters this evening. Um, so I apologize for that. Does the city have any um, statutes or regulations proceeding without 
Spanish translation? Um, I do not have the answer for that, uh, Chair Pont. Uh, do you know, Maya? Um, I do not know if you've reached out to the city clerk um, because they helped initiate the, you know, the protocols that we have in place. Um, have you uh, had a chance to contact I, the city clerk? I did, I did, but I did not ask her about the protocol. Mm -hmm. There's no state or federal bar, correct? I don't think it's a requirement. We were, I think, uh, trying because of the Zoom environment, we were just trying to be extra um, helpful in terms of reaching out to all groups and segments in our community. But I am, I am wondering if the city adopted anything. Yeah, well, we'll check with the city clerk to verify. Okay, um, the city clerk said that um, we, we are we are okay. Okay. There's we we're okay to continue the meeting without the interpreters. Okay, let's get rolling then. Okay, um, thank you. Good evening. Uh, thank you for attending the Tuesday, July sixth, twenty twenty one meeting of the Singley and Planning Commission. Um, there's a paragraph I have to read and some explanatory material we need to go through before we get started. So let me get going. In accordance with Executive Order N29-20 and guidance from the California Department of Public Health on gatherings, remote public participation is allowed. We will address the order in the following ways. Members of the public may not physically attend meetings. The Planning Commission meeting will be live streamed on Comcast Channel 28 and on the city's website, barring technical difficulties. Those members of the public wishing to participate must do so remotely via Zoom electronic meetings in the following ways either by logging onto the Zoom link located on the meeting agenda, please download the app to your computer or mobile device, and entering the meeting ID, or by calling a listed number and enter the meeting ID. Public comment for planning commission meetings will be accepted via email to publiccomments at cityofsanlina.org. All public comments must be emailed by 4 p.m. prior to the meeting. Emailed public comments will not be read out loud, but will be publicly available and attached to the online planning commission agenda. Um, Ms. Gamero, do you have any additional information? Uh, thank you, Chair Pons. Yes, let me share a screen. So for members of the public who wish to participate uh, during public comments, you can do so by dialing 669-900-6833. At the prompt, enter the meeting ID 858-4252-6497. Press pound and during public comment, press star nine to speak. And that will be all chair. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Commissioner Segura, would you mind leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? With pleasure. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Um, Ms. Gamera, will you take the roll, please? Commissioner Anderson? Here. Commissioner Segura? Here. Commissioner Rothfeld? Here. Vice Chair Hale? Here. And Chair Pont? Here. That takes us to public forum. This is an opportunity for the public to address the commission on items of interest to the public that are not listed on the agenda. Because the restrictions imposed by the Brown Act, the commission may not just engage in discussion, nor take action on matters not described on the agenda. Please observe our time limit of four minutes. Um, Ms. Gamera, do we have any members of the public wishing to speak under public comment? No members of the public uh, wish to speak at the moment, Chair. That takes us to consent items. Um, members of the commission or the public may ask that any items be considered individually for purposes of considering alternative action for extended discussion or for public comment. 
unless that is done, one motion may be used to adopt all the recommended actions under consent items. We only have one consent item tonight. That's approval of the minutes of June 15th, 2021. Do any members of the commission wish to pull this item for additional discussion? Seeing none, um, Ms. Camaro, is there any member of the public that appears to wish to discuss this item? No members of the public, uh, Chair Pont. All right. Um, a motion would be in order then, if somebody cares to make one. Um, Vice Chair I, Hale. I move that we approve the minutes. Is there a second on that? I'll second. second. Oh. <laughs> Pick one, Zinia. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have a motion and multiple seconds. Uh, would you mind taking the roll, please? Yes. Um, Vice Chair Hale? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. And Chair Pont. Yes. That takes us to public hearings. Um, tonight, there's two of them on the agenda, but the first one has been pulled uh, to return in the future at a date uncertain, which takes us to item 5.2, um, request by Tracy Scupney of Lang and Reed for adoption of a resolution approving a use permit amendment in order to expand wine tasting uses into the entirety of the existing building up to 18 seats located at 1244 Spring Street in the Central Business Zoning District. Um, I'll call the public hearing open. And the first thing is to ask if any commissioner has any ex parte contact on this item they would wish to bring up. Seeing none, uh, that takes us to the staff report. And uh, Senior Planner Heacock, I believe this is your item. Yes, thank you, Chair Pont. Um, so Lang and Reed Wine Company has been making wines from the Napa Valley for over 25 years, and they have occupied the existing office space at 1200 Oak um, Avenue for administrative purposes since December 2001, so nearly 20 years. In November 2019, the Planning Commission approved a use permit allowing up to six seats um, for wine tasting in the existing winery office that they've occupied for those 20 years. The front of the building, which is 1244 Spring Street, uh, was formerly leased to a development company and was used as office space. The applicant has since taken over the lease for the entirety of the building. Um, and as you noted, they, they are now seeking a use permit amendment um, in order to make wine tasting in the building a permanent use. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay. So this includes three tasting individual tasting suites that will allow up to six guests in each suite in any given time for a total of 18 uh, seats. The hours of operation will be nine to five daily. Uh, the building includes office space for administration, a kitchen, two bathrooms, and no modifications to the building are being proposed. The existing site has extensive landscaping, um, <clears throat> including multiple trees, one of which is at the entrance uh, of the off-street parking area and the others adjacent the backside of the parking area. Um, although these trees are not in six inch high concrete barriers is dictated by the code. Uh, staff does not believe that requiring that all landscaping be contained in six inch high concrete barriers is appropriate for the site and is recommending a condition of approval allowing the current landscaping barriers to remain and allowing planter and tree wells with widths less than five feet as permitted by the code. As only one of the trees on site is adjacent to the parking area, uh, another condition of approval has been added requiring that one 15 gallon size or greater um, tree be added in or immediately adjacent to the parking area to meet the two tree requirement. Um, however, this can only be done once the city is uh, no longer under declared water emergency as no new landscaping can be installed during the phase two water emergency. As demonstrated in the parking plan, uh, a private off street parking lot with six parking spaces, including four compact, one full and one ADA van accessible space exists on site. 
Therefore, off-street parking requirements have been met. A uh, condition of approval has been added that the off-street parking area be appropriately striped, that concrete tire stops be added to the spaces fronting the landscaping area, and that required signage be added. Uh, after some discussion with Chair Pont, uh, we are recommending that one additional condition of approval be added to the resolution that is not currently in it. Um, and that reads as follows. ADA access to suite number one through the back of the building must be maintained at all times during business hours. With that, staff feels that the project meets and or complies with the required findings to approve a use permit amendment and recommends that the Planning Commission determine that the project is exempt from the requirements of CEQA pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15301 and accept the required findings and approve a resolution granting a use permit amendment for wine tasting uses to expand to 18 seats in the building located at 1244 Spring Street and 1200 Oak Avenue. And with that, I would be happy to answer any questions you may have at this time. I have a question. Sure, please. Uh, please. Thank you, Chair Pond. Um, I was going through all of the conditions of approval and um, our, the public works, building department, their conditions are covered in, in our conditions, right? Correct. So, so if we were to approve uh, uh, the planning department conditions of approval, the other ones are, are covered. And yes, they're all included as part of the resolution of approval. Okay, thank you. Yep. Any more questions of staff? Um, I, I, I do have one that, um, frankly, your condition on the tree not be planted until after the water emergency is over, I brought this up. Um, what about the grass surrounding the building? They, they are subject to the commercial water restrictions just as anybody else. So they, they have a water allotment that they're required to meet. Okay. But and, if like they go, and if they go over, there, there is um, punishment for that. So we have no zero escape requirements under the current conditions? No. Right. That might be that, that, I, I don't know how that may change under a phase three. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. cross that bridge when we get to it, if, if hopefully we don't. No bets. Um, any more questions of staff? No. Well, I, I, I think it's uh, time to hear from the applicants. Uh, Please, uh, Mr. Mr. Ms. Scupney, if you'd care to speak, please. I do. Um, thank you so much, staff and Aaron, for doing such a great job summarizing. You beat me at my game. I had my notes, and it was an excellent recap. Um, my first comment I, I will address to Chair Plant because we do have uh, a very raised consciousness about water usage. And you can uh, walk by the lawn today and see we've already, um, with cooperation of the landlord, greatly reduced our water usage and the lawn, you can see the effects. We also have a fountain and the fountain is now disabled and empty for practical purposes for our water. So we're very much aware and um, going forward as restrictions become tighter, we'll, we'll have a plan for how to address this landscaping Thank more you. than we are right now. Um, it's The application was so complete with detail and Erin did such a great job recapping. I'm, I'm a little um, at odds of what to add to it. It was so complete. I, I ask again, if anyone wants to ask direct questions to me of areas of concern or to elaborate on any areas that um, might have seemed um, not in detail in our application. Does anyone have any questions of the applicant? Yes, okay. Commissioner Segura. 
Miss Cutney, very good to see you. Nice to see you, Commissioner. <laughs> I Go just on. have a, a question. So, so Lang and Reed is the only uh, occupant of the building. No, uh, in our application and in our final plans, we have Kane Vineyard and Winery living in the 1200 Oak Avenue address where we were. And in the front room called suite number one, we have um, Post Parade Winery. So we're three wineries occupying the entire building, each holding our own exclusive tastings. We aren't uh, sharing tastings with each other or pouring wine for each other in our tastings. Uh, we're each three individual wineries occupying the two office addresses. Kane oh, great. appropriately needed a home from losing their fire, their home in the fire and their winery. And Post Parade like Lang and Reed needed a front door for greeting customers. Um, thank you. And, and, and another question about, well, um, the tastings, are you gonna try to stagger them or will they be like at the same time or? They might or, be at the same time. I've applied for two tastings per winery per day up to six people per tasting and that's restricted by the size of our rooms that don't accommodate more than six comfortably. So because Post Parade has their exclusive room that's on the diagram that front suite Aaron pointed out and we have a, a room on the interior that's for our exclusive use and Kane is on the back porch area with their own private entrance. Their offices don't have access to the front part of the building we're all at liberty to schedule a tasting at the same time. Thank you for that. I think that's all the questions that I have. Oh, thank you. Any more questions of the applicant? Hearing none. Um, let me ask Ms. Camaro, is there any member of the public that cares to speak on this item? Let me check one moment. There are no members of the public uh, raising their hand, uh, Chair Pont. Okay. Um, then I will uh, close the public hearing and bring the item back to the commission for discussion. Um, does any commissioner wish to uh, speak um, on this item one way or the other. Oh, oh. Vice Chair oh. Hale, please. Sorry. Um, I think it, um, we've been kind of walk, we walked past it quite a bit, um, that space and watching kind of the things um, transform a bit. I, th I think you guys have done a terrific job um, kind of being kind of in sync in harmony with that building and it's kind of unique location where it's kind of a transition between uh, main and, and lesser commercial spaces. I think I think it'll uh, uh, serve well in that in that space. So I wish you the best luck uh, getting it up and, and running. Any other commissioners have anything to say on this particular project? I do not. No, I think I think it's great, and I think that we have you know three wineries in at one place, so so they get a chance to do business, and and people get a chance to taste wonderful wines. So very nice. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, personally, I think it's a fine use of the space. Um, and let me check with uh, Ms. Camaro one more time. Uh, Ms. Camaro, any member of the public wishing to speak? No members of the public wishing to speak. All right, then I don't have to open the public hearing again. All right, um, we've gone through the process. We're to the point that a motion would be in order if someone cares to make one. May I? Oh, no, sorry. Um, 
I, I move that we accept the staff recommendation and determine that the project is exempt from the requirements of CEQA per CEQA guidelines 15301 and we accept the required findings and approve a resolution granting use permit amendment approval for wine tasting uses to expand 18 seats in the building located at 1244 Spring Street and 1200 Oak Avenue. As amended. As amended. Mm -hmm. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I second. We have a second. Uh, Ms. Camara, will you tally the votes, please? Vice Chair Hale? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. And Chair Pont? Yes. Well, that concludes this item. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got excited last time. <laughs> All right, I'll okay, let you go. tomorrow, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Do I have to sign off? I I, you can you can turn off your camera and turn off your microphone if you care to stay for the thank rest you, of the everyone. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you all very much for your time. Thank you. All right, uh, that takes us to item six, scheduled matters. Uh, nomination and election of a new planning commission chair, vice chair, and designation of the commission secretary. Uh, if nobody disputes this, I would like to... Uh, probably take the uh, designation of the uh, commission secretary first. Um, does anyone care to designate uh, the current planning director as the secretary? Hint, hint. So I move that the uh, present uh, planning commission director be appointed secretary. Okay, I hear no other nominations. Second. Yes. Can I interject? Oh, so the, the present planning commission secretary is actually Ms. Gamora. And oh. um, yeah, so unless you want to change that to me, I think she's doing a fabulous job. So okay. I was just looking <laughs> at that's our guidance. Your decision. She basically says, um, <laughs> all right. The, I would like to amend my motion. And uh, that would be to... Um, keep uh, Ms. Gamero as the Secretary of the Planning Commission. Uh, Vice Chair Hill, will you accept that amendment? Yes. All right, we have a motion and a second. Um, let's, can we do this by acclamation? <laughs> I don't see anything against that. All right, let's, let's go ahead, count the votes, if you care to do it that way. So was that a second from uh, Vice Chair Hale? Yes, it was. Okay. Yes, sorry. Well, Commissioner Segura? Yes. Vice Chair Hale? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. And Chair Pont? Yes. Um, now we have uh, chair and vice chair. Uh, the nominations for chair are open. If it cares to make one. I'd like yes. to nominate John. Second. Are there any other nominations for chair? I don't see any. All right, uh, Ms. Gamero, will you please count the votes on that one? Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Vice Chair Hale? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. And I will abstain. <laughs> um, and thank you very much, all of you. Uh, the nominations for Vice Chair are now open, if anyone cares to make one. I'd like yes. to nominate Dan. Do we have a second on that nomination? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Ms. Uh, Commissioner Segura, are you going to say something? Uh, just because I, I, she cut off. 
Who, who nominee? Uh, she nominated the current vice chair, Daniel. Okay. Do we have a second to that nomination? I'll second. Thank you, Commissioner Rothfeld. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? Hearing none, uh, Ms. Camaro, will you take the role on that one, please? Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. Chair Pont? I can vote on this one, yes. And Vice Chair Hale? Yes. <laughs> and who knows his own mind. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> That concludes uh, that item, which takes us down to department reports. Uh, Director DeRosa, do you have some information for us this evening? Yes, well, first I just wanna uh, congratulate um, John and Marika, welcome back. Um, it's a pleasure to work with you again, and uh, I'm very grateful that we have a full commission and no vacancies going into the new fiscal year. Um, and then secondly, I think there was a um, leftover item from our last discussion about what the council had decided related to uh, virtual versus in-person meetings. And um, they thought it was too premature to make a decision because there's still a lot of things that are in flux with how cities are pivoting and um, accommodating this. And so they will be taking up this discussion again at their next meeting uh, August 10th. And then I will provide um, an additional update to the Planning Commission after that. And uh, I do believe there's some state, the governor has actually made a, a ruling that cities are to you know, eliminate the virtual meetings by the September 30th. Um, and I've been working with the city attorney on some of those protocols and just staying updated on how the legislation is shifting. So we'll just be patient and, um, you know, keep on going and um, future update coming. So eventually we may be back to regular meetings. Great. Um, eventually, yes. Yes. Any, anything else? No, thank you. Uh, that takes us to uh, item eight, agenda forecast. Uh, this is also the time for any planning commissioner to request something be placed on a future agenda. Uh, anybody have anything they care to have put in consideration? No, thank you. Um, uh, as as uh, the city does indeed have a list of all current planning projects uh, available on the city website from which they draw the items that will be on our future agenda. So if you care to try and keep ahead of where the planning commission is, that's the place to look. Uh, and with that, that puts us down to item nine, which is adjournment. Meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.